Okay, hey there, Jeremiah. I uh, just got your email um, about the difficulties that you're having with the equals method, and I figured the best way that I could probably uh, explain this a little bit better to you uh, was to just record a quick video. So, um, so here's here's. I'm not exactly sure uh, what part of the uh, actual equals overriding um, doesn't exactly make sense to you. So I'm just going to give a, a general overview of this, and, and if this doesn't answer your question, then feel free to send me an email back um, and ask me um, if you have more of a specific question. I, I do good, I do better when I have a specific question. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so let me let me go over this using a different example. Okay, let me uh, let me use the vehicle and uh, and car example. So in order to understand the equals method and how it's it's being used to override something. Um, you need to understand inheritance because that's essentially what this is all about is inheritance. So <clears throat> this is a good example of inheritance um, with the vehicle and the car because um, a car is a type of vehicle. Okay, so when you, when you can actually type out um, a car is a you know vehicle, um, that means that you have um, that means that you have inheritance, right? Um, so <clears throat> that's that's an important concept. So if I if you look here, I have a vehicle class, and I've defined um, well this stuff was just left over from another example with checking if it's over the speed limit. But I added here um, a uh, a get for a get number of wheels. Um, now it doesn't really make sense for a vehicle to always have two wheels, but uh, for the um, for the intent of this uh, little explanation, it'll it'll work just fine. So, if a vehicle um, on its own gets when you get the number of wheels, it'll return two. Um, what you'll see is that actually, let me just create a, a constructor for this guy real quick. Um, so, what if I say um, system dot out dot print line um, uh, vehicle so I guess I would have to say, what, super dot get number of wheels. Yes. So <clears throat> what this is going to do is, um, since this is inside of the constructor, when the when this car object gets instantiated, it will actually go to um, the parent class, because the parent class, you see here that the car extends vehicle. Um, vehicle is the parent class of car so that's the inheritance that I'm talking about car extends vehicle which means car is a vehicle um, so since the car is extending vehicle car is a vehicle um, we can reference um, its parent class which is the vehicle class we can reference um, the method get number of wheels okay <clears throat> so now let me just really quickly create a, uh, a unit test to show you um, what uh, the outcome of this is. So let me just create a quick uh, test class. And here, just call it test. So here I'm going to actually instantiate a car. I'm going to say car equals new car. And I need to import everything. And how come it's not? Test and it, maybe it doesn't like the fact that I have this test class. Yeah, maybe it's it was confused with the uh, fact that I had the class name test and it might have been confused. So let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. So now when I instantiate a car, what's going to happen is it's going to go, it's going to call the constructor to instantiate it, and what the constructor is going to do is it's going to say. Um, get me the number of wheels that this car has. And since the car extends vehicle, what it's really saying is it's going to go here and go to the actual um, superclass and return to. Okay? So now let me just run this real quick. And you'll see in the console, two. So that's the car. It's it's just, it created the car and then it, it printed um, Two. I could actually probably make this a little prettier and say number of wheels um, or something like that. And then when I go back and run this, uh, number of wheels two. So, okay, fair enough. Hopefully that, that sort of makes sense. 
but that's what your question was about was overriding. Why is there, at least I think it is, about why is there an override, um, and we call them annotations. Well, watch this. So if a vehicle has the uh, method that says get number of wheels that returns two, <clears throat> we know that a car doesn't have two wheels. A car usually has four wheels. So we can actually, I'm going to hit the control space bar, and I'm, I can actually see what, um, what methods I can override. So I can actually override the get number of wheels. So I'm going to double click on this, and you see how it automatically put everything in here for me? So if I just leave this alone, if I save this, the functionality is going to be exactly the same. Because um, we're we've implemented our own get number of wheels inside of the car, um, inside of the car class, but here we're returning the same thing, the same super dot get number of wheels, which is exactly what we see up here, super dot get number of wheels. So just to show you that nothing has changed, I can run this again, and you see the number of wheels is still two, but that's not really very helpful. So let's say we don't want to return the super classes get number of wheels we want to say that a car has four wheels okay so see what I've, did, I've done here um, so now when I now hold on a second because when it instantiates car it's going to call the super classes get number of wheels so that's maybe not a very good example because now I need to return this class's number of wheels so maybe I, that just lost the entire... Uh, <laughs> so now when I run it, it says get number of wheels 4. So that's maybe not the greatest example to have um, the output inside of car. Um, maybe, well, at least not... What I, what I did wrong here is I put super. That was my mistake. My apologies. Let me get rid of everything that we just did here with the override. And let's fall back to just this. So I can still say get number of wheels. I don't actually have to specify super dot get number of wheels. And that is because the car extends vehicle. The car is a vehicle, okay? So let me run this again. And now what this is essentially saying is you see that there's no get number of wheels inside of this car class. You don't, there's no get number of wheels at all defined. So what's gonna happen? Well, if I still control and click on this guy, it's still gonna go to the vehicle class and and run the get number of wheels method. So let me go back and run this test again. So now you see that number of wheels is back to two, because what what's happening in the code is it's instantiating the car. Um, when it instantiates the car, it does system out print line and it does number of wheels, and then it's going to run this one get number of wheels, and then it's going to return two because that's part of the vehicle. So now let me go back again. Sorry about that. Let me go back and do the get number of wheels. Same overriding. And now let me get rid of this to-do, and let me change this to be four. So here's where the magic happens. So now you see that I've, I've indicated that I want to override the get number of wheels. So now when I control and click on this thing, it jumps here to the car's get number of wheels. Before when I control clicked, it went inside a vehicle and went to this get number of wheels. But because we have um, actually overridden this method, because we're we're saying that the inheritance that's happening, we don't we don't want to grab um, the uh, functionality from vehicle with respect to get number of wheels anymore. We want it to go to the car class, which is here. So now when I run this, boom, we get number of wheels is four. Okay, we're getting it from here now. So that's essentially the same thing that's happening with the equals method. Now. If you were paying attention, the every object in Java extends from object, which means that vehicle extends from object. And since vehicle extends from object and car extends from vehicle, that means that car extends from object. Okay? It's kind of like saying extends object although that's ob that's not uh, correct syntax but you see the car extends vehicle extends object so this is the the sort of um uh, inheritance that's happening here and i think actually if you right if you click f4 if i'm not mistaken let me see uh yeah so when you click f4 you get the type hierarchy and you can see exactly what i was saying car extends vehicle extends object okay 
So, since car extends vehicle extends object, you can probably override the equals method inside of the car. So if I do the control click or control space bar, um, I see the equals method in here. So I can double click here and do the exact same thing. Now I'm overriding equals, which is from super, um, the super class, which is really vehicle, which will really be object. So now I am taking the equals method from object, which is right, uh, where is it? Did I go over? Equals. Um, it is right here. So this is actually the object class um, that exists as part of the Java framework. Okay? So this is just, um, you know, this probably isn't going to mean much to you because this is all stuff that, you know, much smarter people than myself wrote. Um, but that's essentially what's happening here. I'm now saying I don't want to execute this functionality if I were to say uh, car dot equals something. I don't want it to go here and run this code because I've overridden it here. If I'm, if anyone says car dot equals uh, something, then I want it to go and and execute the code from this method. So really, in the end, this overriding thing that's happening and this inheritance thing that's happening, um, you're just telling Java what block of code that um, you want it to actually run. Okay. So again, when I take this away. And if I control click on this, control clicking, by the way, is um, it's kind of like seeing what will happen when the code actually runs. Um, so it's how the code will flow. So when I control click on here, it's going to go to the vehicle class and, uh, and run the, the vehicle's get number of wheels. But if I put it back in um, here and save it and I control click, it no longer goes to vehicle. It'll go to the get number of wheels inside of car. So hopefully that clears things up a little. Um, again, let me know if uh, if that's still not a good enough explan or, yeah, explanation or if you have any other questions. Um, just email me and uh, I'll try to get back to you tonight. And uh, yeah, best of luck. Happy learning.